this could be the dumbest or most genius thing I've done thus far on the channel. I mean, actually, that's probably going a bit far, but I'm definitely taking a chance on Jeopardy here. It's like this. I'm in the taper week for a, my first ultra marathon in three years. I haven't run one since 2019 and I am woefully underprepared. And I'm not just saying that for jeopardy, I am, it's genuine. I've run 26 kilometers. Um, three hours is my longest run for a long, long time. And it's a 50 kilometer race with 1500 meters of elevation. It's gonna destroy me. But why am I doing this run now? That's the point. So why am I doing this run? Or more in particular, why am I doing a run that I said could be the stupidest thing I've ever done, or it could be the most genius move I've ever made? It's because I'm in the taper week and I have those physical demons that we all have. As in, all week I've felt this pain in my plantar fascia. It is real, it's not just in there, it is painful. But I don't know if that's just something because I'm not training as much or if it's something I've got to be aware of. So the reason for this run is to either put that pain to bed once and for all or see where we're at. Let's hope it's the putting it to bed one. But this video isn't about that. Of course it's not. Why would it just be about one little test run of about three kilometers before an ultra marathon? I only added that bit in because I just want you to know if you've been training for something and then you're tapering that sometimes your body does make things up and makes you feel like you're in pain when you're not. Now, the real reason for the video is for me to share with you my preparation for a trail ultra because the last video I did when we were racing was a trail race but it was only 23 kilometers whereas this one is 50 kilometers a lot more elevation a lot more brutal so I'm going to share with you my plan for the day in fact it's Thursday now. I'm going to take you all the way up to Saturday evening with me so you can see how I prepare in the lead up to a big, big race, especially when I'm physically underprepared. So you need to be mentally overprepared. Well, first things first, no pain whatsoever in the foot. So I guess that is completely phantom as per usual which takes me to Friday I guess and telling you what I'm taking how I'm packing what I'm thinking let's stretch now <clears throat> guess it's time to start packing again then because it's Friday evening and it is about half past five uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning so it's time to start putting things down start thinking about everything that we need to take with us for what is actually a much longer race, but the, the mandatory kit requirements for this race are much less than UTMB, obviously. I guess because UTMB is such an you know established outfit, but let's take you through it. Flip belt, hydration belt, shorts, obviously, signature shorts. Actually, the hardest thing is gonna be what to do with all of the gels that I need to take with me because I am not under fueling so I've got I'm thinking about taking um, a gel every half an hour and I know that sounds uh, maybe every 45 minutes because I'm running easy but hills absolutely burn you even when you're walking I mean three and a half hours I'm thinking about being out there for seven so that's only half of the gels I need here or maybe actually if it was 45 minutes that would be an hour and a half three hours four and a half hours so yeah still I'm gonna need more and I'm actually gonna take an electrolyte tablet tube because I'm not gonna be drinking water for the most part I'm gonna be drinking electrolytes because it's about 30 33 degrees we're gonna be sweating a lot so Mary and I are gonna need one of these each in our in our hydration vest the truth of it is is this is completely unknown territory for me. Not the distance necessarily, although I've only ever run this distance one time. It's more the what is this distance when you add it onto the heat, because if you watch the UTMB experience that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was about 16 degrees. It was, it was all manageable to run in. This is gonna be a completely different kettle of fish, so it's about keeping nutrition and hydration on point more than anything else and then having that mental headspace to know I 
guess to know it's gonna hurt and being okay with it. And my biggest fear actually, I guess, is, I'll take the sweatband as well. My biggest fear actually is the blister that I picked up at UTMB. I had the most monstrous blister on my right big toe. Left, left big toe. And it, it hurt from 15, 16 kilometers in, and I'm doing 50K? I don't know how I'm gonna get past that. Um, I'm gonna need to look into that. Maybe plasters, maybe Vaseline, maybe definitely taking a spare pair of socks with me in my backpack, because I've looked um, and it looks quite wet in some places, like literally running through streams and stuff, so that's to be considered as well. Hmm. I mean, ultimately, this is pretty much gonna be filled up with filming equipment and equipment to keep me going. And then it's just cracking on. You know what? I need to process my thoughts on this. I haven't really got my act together in terms of how I'm approaching it. Nutrition and hydration, I think, are sorted. All the filming stuff, it's just, it, it's the blister and it's the clothing and... We're leaving tomorrow morning. I need to do this. And I'm sure actually you want to see the journey to the race and the setup of the race and all of that rather than you want to hear me rambling about what I want to do or what I can't do and being a baby wet wipe. So, Saturday morning, let's cut to that. Okay. Here we are again. This, here we are again. This is actually race day. Taking my pillow. Does anybody else do this? I am all about the marginal gains, so I go everywhere with the pillow. We're heading down to Patia now, right? Yep. Two hour journey then we're going to check in for the race. Exciting times, Ooh. scary times. And look who we've got, we've got Mikey. You'll remember Mikey from a few videos ago. He's gonna be like me and run the silly distance. Here's man, we're just picking up John. Oh. Here we are. Registration in the well, I mean, we're in the middle of the field at the moment, but we're walking to wedges. Registration, <laughs> a bit nervous. Here's John as well, he's back. <laughs> Sorry. So you can probably see registration taking place behind me. This was a lot easier than the, if you watch the UTMB video where we had to check in, we had to prove all of the things that we were taking with us on the run, like our vest, a whistle, um, a foil blanket, like all of those things here. We didn't even have to check it, which is fine. Um, but also, the only mandatory equipment anyway is uh, the hydration vest with the bottles. So we just had to show everyone in here has had to show a negative ATK test from today to get in here. We're still all wearing masks when we're near people, but it's pretty safe in comparison to a lot of places. Oh, and Mary just called me because she wants to go and buy things. So let's have a look in the um, in the expo. I've got my name on my number. Oh, I like that. So all the supporters can cheer you on. Yeah, out in the woods. Oh, yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, What's that? that? Oh, relieve muscle pain. Oh, Liniment. nice. Liniment. Liniment oil. Liniment. Oh, more gel. Energy gel. Coffee, oh, coffee flavour flavor. gel. Yum. Might leave that. Oh, Stylish. What did you buy? I bought a pair of socks, sweatbands, and a new bum. Oh, you... 50 bar. Oh, really? Okay, we, we have one in here. Got one, Gab. So, here potentially we're going up, or potentially over there, but. When you've been up near Doyenthanon, these are for baby wet wipes. 
now check back in with me about halfway through the race. I'm going to regret those words. I like to just put a bit of a... Uh, you can come back to this halfway through the race and see how I'm eating my own words. It's what I like to do. So a few things that jump out to me immediately are that the heat is so different to UTMB which was 16 degrees whereas here it's going to be 30 degrees from from early so nutrition and hydration are going to be more important but I mean the hills are the hills you can't get away from those we kind of got our head in that haven't we yeah bring it on so now it's just about making sure we have a good evening making sure that we we relax that we eat right the night before the meal we always think the sleep is important the night before the night before so last night's sleep that we've already had was the important one lots of people don't sleep on on the night before the race because of the excitement or whatever so actually just making sure we get the right fuel on board is more important tonight um, eat right have a half decent sleep and have a good breakfast and then we're good to go and then it's just about dealing with the situation tomorrow how do you feel after going to the expo excited yeah yeah i thought it was really nice like none of the landscape looked too daunting maybe we were too far away from the hills yeah and i suppose it wasn't it wasn't it didn't feel like the machine that utmb is as well so it felt a little bit more informal a little bit more personal i guess quite relaxed like chilled atmosphere so yeah. I mean, it's hot. That's what we noticed. I've said it a couple yeah. of times, but it's it's a lot hotter. So we're going to have to factor that in. Um, you're going to have to lotion up. You're going to have to make sure. We're both going to have to make sure that we drink a lot throughout the day because I think fluid loss and and um, keep our hydration on point. Yeah, I've been trying to drink loads today. I don't know if you've drunk enough. I need to drink more. I have drunk. I've drunk a couple of. Yeah, I've, I think I've drunk a fair bit, but I need to drink more. Um, you know, it is, ultras are what they are. Um, it's, as we said in the last video when we raced with John, it's about solving a puzzle for the most part. Things are gonna go wrong and it's learning how to roll with it. And, and you know, the 50K I haven't done for three years. So, and I certainly haven't trained. So I know things are gonna go wrong tomorrow. Potentially a blister, potentially my legs just don't have it. Um, we see, I mean, you're, and you're doing 30K, which is the longest you will have run over here. Yeah, bye. 7k 7k no i'm doing 32k, oh, you're doing 32K. so yeah oh, so 9k longer than you've run over here but but again you'll be, you'll be fine you've done an ultra marathon very recently within the last seven months or eight months or whatever so you, you've done it more recently yeah, than so. me um now it's just about getting a good good sleep good meal and, and and hoping for the best really and running with i don't know what our plan is tomorrow obviously you've seen that we've got john and mikey here so john and mikey and i are all doing the 50k mary's doing the 30k um with dave and tom who are here as well um but i don't think you're running together with dave and tom whereas i may start with john and mikey and see where we go we are just we've got probably a gentleman's agreement that if someone feels good, they push on. If someone feels bad, they drag, they drop back. And, and we, we will run together until we can't run together, but we're not staying together necessarily. Yeah, I mean... We maybe, all got to do your own thing, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, I kind of like... Quite like just doing my own thing, so there's no pressure. Well, there's nothing worse than feeling bad and feeling like you're holding someone up who wants to push on. Yeah. Uh, uh, and con and like conversely, there's nothing your... worse than feeling good and, and slowing down. So tomorrow will be what it will be. Wish us luck. Uh, that will be Wednesday will be Mary's experience. Next Sunday will be my experience. Um, if you follow us on Strava, then you'll already know by the time, uh, not this goes out, but maybe the next one. And then we'll see where we're at. My Mentally, I've set myself up to hurt myself. So. I hate it when you say things like that, because I'm People sort of understand. like, oh, I'm here for a nice run and nice adventure, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to be in so much pain. But people understand. I know. People watching this understand that it, it, there is a certain element of kind of being okay with being in pain with all of us people that run, no matter what distance you're at. Like, yeah. that's part of the process. I know, and I enjoy it when I'm there. It's just sometimes when I think about that, I'm like, can I do that? Don't think about it. Do you like me? In my brain, it's just a cow playing a banjo all of the time, so it's quite wonderful in there. There's really no overthinking. Just, you no do. No worries. Right. Rest time. 
the next thing you'll see is us at the start line. Take a deep breath, Mary. I forgot to say, right, I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>